Live from KYMA Studios, this is News 11 Nightside, your number one source for news in the desert southwest. Welcome back, everybody. November is Military Family Appreciation Month, and we took a look behind the scenes to recognize the people who love and support those who protect our freedom. News 11's Molly Lang is live in the studio to show us what it's like to be a military spouse and be behind but never forgotten. It's News 11, a special report. Molly. Irene, Rob, two local military spouses say even though it's sometimes difficult, they are honored to be married into the Marine Corps, and they wouldn't have it any other way. The desire to make a difference and serve selflessly inspires many to become Marines. They fight for our country and put their lives on the line, but there are those behind the scenes, Marine wives, often left behind but never forgotten. Why don't you tell me what the hardest thing is about being apart? Him just missing out on everything. Brides envision the type of life they'll have, but as a military wife, things can be a little different. If they've never experienced it before, no, they have no idea what they're what they're in for. There is no training manual. The few, the proud. Empowered. Olberding's husband joined the Marine Corps after they were married. I, I, I just didn't know what this life brought with it. I had no idea. That I think that that was the biggest thing. There were so many questions. I didn't know what it meant to be a Marine Corps spouse. I, I just had no idea. When husbands enlist into the Marine Corps, the wives sign up too. The next day after he had enlisted and all done all the paperwork and everything was September the 11th, the infamous day that we all know. And so it really kind of changed our whole life. It changed the real trajectory of what I thought we were what we were doing and I thought the, the mission that we were we were going for, it, it made a huge impact on our whole life. Olverding learned what her role as a Marine wife meant. I had the ability to still accomplish goals, raise children, have a job, volunteer. You know, I was still able to live my life and yet support him in the way that he needed to be supported. Her friends ask her how she keeps it all together. And I do feel that I've had to be a cheerleader and champion for other people's causes and people weren't necessarily checking on me. The biggest piece to the puzzle is patience. You kind of instantly jump to maybe something bad has happened, especially if you're not getting some communication back from him. Touche grew up in a military family. I knew the military life. I didn't necessarily know the Marine life, but some people consider moving to Japan a deployment. I mean, I really didn't. I've, since I was going with them, I didn't really consider it a, a deployment. Even though he's overseas, she and her husband are able to talk daily. Twice a day, if not more. What does he do to help you ease the, you know, the distance? He lets me know what's going on over there. Nothing specific, but you know, lets me know that he's doing okay. She has gone through four deployments. When Touche needed her husband the most, he was able to be there. Because of me being a high-risk pregnancy, he had to wait on orders. Their daughter is now 12 years old. Sometimes I think that, you know, this may be the last time that I might end up saying something to him. Military wives work to keep the family connected. This is like a superhero coming back into their life. You know, they're so incredibly excited. And, and as a mom trying to make sure that we had done all the things that we could to get dad caught up on life. Olberding was awarded Spouse of the Year by MCAS Yuma and her husband put her in for it. He is my hero. I couldn't begin to know the level of stress that he carries with him every day. Above all, they are the foundation of the family. There ever been a time that you're like, can't somebody else do it? I just want you home with me. Has been times. I mean, every, every military wife out there asks that. I mean, regardless of the rank of their husband. I mean, regardless of their husband's title. I mean, every wife has asked that, even though good majority of us already know what the answer is. I mean, sometimes it just feels good to just ask that question. And the best part is when he gets to come home. Just being able to spend time with him and, you know, actually be able to not have to worry about him having to run onto base because they need his help. Each military wife's story is a little different, but they say they all feel honored to support their husbands from the home front. Touche hopes to have her husband home safely by Christmas. Live in the studio, Molly Lang, News 11.